This is a Transformers Legacy bulkhead from Transformers Prime, and something about him seems off. Now overall, this isn't a bad figure, but there is something absolutely amazing that I discovered about it. So make sure to stick around for that and leave a like below while you're at it. Here is the figure and uh, it doesn't look anything like Bulkhead. This is supposed to be Bulkhead from Transformers Prime, but that does not look like Bulkhead from Transformers Prime to me, but we'll get to that later. First, let's take a look at the box art. Over here, you have some artwork of Bulkhead in his vehicle mode. This is from the Transformers Legacy line and it is a Voyager class size figure. Here you have some artwork of uh, Transformers. These are definitely Transformers. Here's a look at the back with Bulkhead in his robot mode and vehicle mode. And that's really about it, not much to it. Let's open it up. Always be careful when cutting it with scissors like this, by the way, so you don't damage the figure. Here is the figure, and he comes with a shield that can also be placed on the back. You get this weapon right over here. He also comes with a mace, which is a very physical weapon to smash your enemies with. Here are the instructions, and I do have a problem with them. I feel like it shows so much detail on the figure that some of the instructions just get lost in it. Hopefully I'm making sense there, because sometimes I can't even think my own thoughts. I feel like Hasbro's instructions can be kind of crappy sometimes. But then again, I'm also an idiot. Now the robot mode is pretty bulky, but I mean the character's name is Bulkhead, and he's supposed to be bulky. So that's not really a complaint. If this figure wasn't bulky, Okay, then that would be a complaint. So they got the bulky part right. However, this chest area right here is not something I'm a big fan of. It's very distracting. It's obviously very huge. And it's the only area that I think that is actually too bulky. I kind of wish it was shaved down a little bit because it really obscures the head in my opinion. Especially when you look up at it from down below. Which is unfortunate because this is a really great head sculpt. I'm also not a big fan of the g oneification of this. Especially since this is supposed to be Transformers Prime bulkhead. The chest really does throw me off. Off. Now a closer look at the head sculpt and like I said before it is really nice. I do wish there was a bit of a neck there so it could stick up a bit more. It has a little bit of detail on there. He's got the very pronounced chin like he should and some very nice blue eyes over there. The color of silver on the face looks absolutely great. He's got some detail on the sides there, not too much on the back of the head. He's got some details right over here on the shoulders. A little bit of detail on the arms right over here. Now the hands here are hollow, I'm not a big fan of that. The biceps on it are also hollow. I do like the color of silver here on the knees and the thighs. The gray color here, not my favorite. The overall green color is pretty good. And at the back you do have a darker green color right over here. The shield is also a darker green color. Now this does have some faux wheels back here. And I feel like it doesn't really add to the figure and it could have gone without it. You do have some details on the legs over here on the thighs, the knees, and the bottom part of the legs right over here. The feet at the bottom are hollow, but that's fine. These are meant to come in like that for the transformation. They can be a little tricky to get back out though. Now inside the chest is very hollow, but that does play in part to the transformation because the arms do go in there. And in fact, you know, I wonder. Oh, oh, that is big brain right there. Can we get this in there too? Let's get this out. Oh no, no, it's stuck in there. Okay, I got it out. Let's try this again. If we can put that in there, that, there we go. Oh, holy shit. This is how you store your weapons for your bulkhead figure. I feel like my IQ has just gone from one to two. Getting it out though isn't the easiest. Now here is a closer look at the weapon. It's got a nice translucent blue over there and a metallic dark gray. Now for this, you can place it on his hand right over here or place it on this hand over here. I mean, it doesn't really matter. But what matters though is you hitting that subscribe button. Another thing you can do is place it right over here. Put it in like so. And you have it like that. It is a very small connection so it might fall out easily. Now here's a closer look at his mace. It's a very nice silver. It's got some detail on there. And to put this on, you open it up and then you put it in like this and then you can close it. Also, I'm an idiot. This is supposed to go on the other hand. I guess I really am a fake Transformers fan. Okay, just place it in there and close it like that. And that is the arm it's supposed to go on. Now here's a closer look at his shield right over here. There's not too much going on there and now you can put this on back over here and have it like that and it, it looks all right in my opinion like that also on the top of the shield on my copy there appears to be some nub and stress marks you can also bring this little thing out right over here and attach it to his arm and now it becomes his shield i do think that's very creative but one weird thing is that this shield is made to look like cloth but it's supposed to be a hard shield so that doesn't really make much sense to me the front has some detail you got the autobot logo you have nice blue headlights right over here and then the uh the the, the toe thing that you know is on cars that are really strong or something Something. You got some grill detail underneath here. Not that type of grill. Not that type of grill either. There's some more little detail right over there and over here. I'm not a big fan of how the windshield wipers here look. It just seems kind of off. It's not a 100% bad looking figure. There are some good parts to it. It's just this chest piece really throws me off. I'm not a big fan of it. If it was just 
supposed to be some other bulkhead figure, that would be fine. But saying Transformers Prime on the box and selling this as a Transformers Prime figure, it makes me want something accurate to Transformers Prime. Now for the articulation, the head can move up and down a little bit, and it can move side to side. And that's it, no 360 rotation, giving this figure a 0 out of 10. Thank you, bye. Just kidding, we're not done yet. This right here can move. The arms can spin all the way around. The biceps can also spin all the way around. The hands can spin all the way around. There is no butterfly joint. You can bend the arms in. The waist can spin all the way around. And for the legs, you can bring them out like that. You can bring them back pretty far. And you do get a knee bend right over there. The legs can also spread out to the side like that. The feet can pivot to the side like that. And they can move back and forth a little bit. And you could also do that if you wanted to. Now this thing has a lot of five millimeter port on it. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. Like more than one. You have ports on the top wheels, the arms, these two wheels right over here, this right over here. Get the same amount on the other side. There's one on each foot down here. On the back, you got four right over here. You got this port right over here. And the Mace has three ports on it. And on this, you have one more port right there. And with all these ports, this is what you can do with the figure. This guy has a ridiculous number of ports for a ridiculous number of stuff. And that might be the best reason to buy him. On the back, I have some Minicons right over here. And I managed to put on Starscream's cape. And there's even more ports at the back here. So yeah, maybe you should buy this figure. Because this is absolutely insane. Now onto the transformation. And for that, we'll put this back on right there. So first thing I like to do for the transformation is to close in both of the feet. Next thing you want to do is bring out the arms like that. And then untab the arms just like so. Bring this back part up like that. Undo the waist and bring it down like so. Bring the chest up and separate the waist like that. And then take this out right over here. It can be a bit tough. And now you can fully bring out this section right here. Now push in his head down. So instead of bulkhead, he becomes, uh, he becomes push down head. I'm sorry, that was really bad. And bring the arms down all the way, just like so. Line him up right there. And now you're supposed to bring in the arms all the way into this right over here. But before we do that, we need to make sure this flap right here is up. There we go. And now we can bring this in all the way. Make sure it's properly aligned in there. Now we can bring this down and bring out the faux wheels right over here. This is a little loose on mine. Now what we want to do is bring the legs out like that. And then we bend them 90 degrees, just like so. Now we open the back of the legs up so we can bring these gas canisters out, just like that. We'll leave them there for now. Now we can close these, align that up. Don't bring it together just yet. Make sure this is down like that. And now we can adjust the legs right over here and over here. And then now we can bring the legs together. And now these gas canisters right over here need to go into this slot right over here. It's kind of hard to see. It can be a little finicky to do, but I believe in you. And now we can bring this down right over here and make sure it's tabbed into place right over there. Same here. And now we can bring the feet up right here. Now the vehicle mode on this doesn't look too bad. It compacts down pretty well. Once again, you got the nice blue headlights right over here and I really do like the blue tinted windows. You got mirrors right over here on the sides. Once again, the little tow bit and the grill underneath right over here. On the side, you got some panel work right over here. The gas canister has some details on there as well. I kind of wish they were silver so I might go in and paint them. And with the arms moved, you get some detail right over here. You got these little military vehicle detail thing right there. From the back, you can obviously tell these are the feet. And while this front area doesn't look that good in robot mode. It looks pretty good in vehicle mode, in my opinion. This, however, might come down pretty easily, so just watch out for that. Rolling wise is not the best, though. These wheels definitely need some more clearance right here for it to properly roll. Also, there is weapon storage. If you bring this up, Oh, whoops. Put that back on right there. You can place the weapons into these two pegs over here. So you can place this one right there. And you can place this right over here. And then bring it together. And I do like the weapon storage on this. It's very well hidden. Now, alternatively, you see these pegs right over here. You can put the weapons on them right there. But that looks kind of dumb. And like I showed earlier, you can put mini cons on there as well. That's not what they're supposed to be for. But it is pretty cool that you can fit them on there. And if you enjoyed this video right over here, make sure to check out this video right over here. And a big thank you to all my patrons who support me on Patreon for only $1 a month. Give me your first born and buy.